Hello there and welcome. I'm gonna tell you how to not let something ruin your day. So a lot of the times when things happen to us in life, when we have something that we don't prefer, that we just run up against, we will tend to have a certain reaction or a response to that thing. So say my cat bites me, maybe I'll go, no, what are you doing? Ah, you know, and that's just a small example. But then there are going to be bigger examples where somebody did something rude to you on the street or somebody cut you off and maybe you might react with an intense reaction. And then after that thing occurs, you walk away and you don't feel as good anymore. You feel heavier. You feel more drained and like, eh, and it might affect other parts of your day. If you have awareness, it may just affect the next hour or so, next couple minutes. And one thing that should help with this a lot, a lot, is the route we take to respond. So most of the time we are experiencing our feelings through our intuition. So if you're having a normal day and you're da 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 da, da and you're feeling good, intuitively you're feeling that everything is pretty aligned going ahead. And when something occurs, something happens, you may respond and then you don't feel as good. But often that's your intuition telling you that there was something to look at back there. That while something may potentially unjust happened to you, something not so good that maybe you didn't deserve to experience happened, there was something in your response that now is potentially going to magnetize something less aligned, something that's not as good. Because when you experience that situation, you took that energy of the situation and brought it into your body. You internalize what happened. And when somebody cuts you off or gets you angry and you're like, oh, F you or something, and then you drive away, that response to that situation calls in the energy that was trying to enter in, which is a very common response. Most of us will respond quickly and just a knee-jerk reaction, just whatever comes up naturally. And that thing that comes up naturally, it's often a collective response it's often the same response that most people will respond with and that's why it's so easy that's why it comes up so fast the way we respond is going to either give us more power to what we want to call in or it may release some of our potent energy that could be magnetizing a better life so what we can do instead, which is often a big challenge for many of us because it's not what most people are doing, is we can experience that experience. And when we feel that feeling that we don't enjoy because of what we just witnessed or what we just experienced, we can find a way to lovingly respond. So if I'm experiencing remnants of somebody else's reality, then that just reminds me to strengthen my energy and not allow it in. And I learned that a few years ago from Phil Good, and it was not <laughs> easy to do, especially because it was at a time where I had a, a strenuous commute. So I was often getting a little triggered when I was in the traffic. And that was pretty much my training ground for not automatically responding. So that's a good training ground whenever you're in traffic or driving. But I, I already cleared some of that. So when it's in a smaller situation, uh, it, it became a bit easier for me to really tell what that feeling was and whether it's actually something that's inevitable, which most of the time it's not. Most of the time we have more control than we think and we realize. And while we can't control everything, we can control a lot of things that can shape our reality so in these situations where you're feeling uncomfortable where something unexpected or unenjoyable happens we can just try to take a more loving approach and what that can look like is maybe just softening your tone with what you experience so if somebody cuts you off or does something crazy in traffic instead of saying like oh look at that guy maybe just saying ha huh look at that guy <laughs> you know just softening yourself slowing yourself down because a lot of our responses are too fast
and then it will send us on the opposite trajectory for what we're wanting to do that day. If we had an inspiration for something we wanted to do, we don't want to have a fast passing situation dim our spark of inspiration for what we're wanting to do. So slowing down will help you a lot. It'll allow you to re-examine and realize what is coming up and then decide to take a different response, take a different approach. It's not easy, as I said, but it's pretty simple to remember to take a new route and decide I'm going to add something different to the world. I'm going to be my own response instead of just the natural knee-jerk response that would organically come up fast. Instead, being intentional with the response and saying, what do I actually want to respond? Because if you have a lot of times where you think back and you're like, oh, I, I wish I didn't say that or I wouldn't have done it like that then you probably have that automatic response coming up for coming up for you and often it's a fight or flight response often it's it's part of our human impulse instead of from our soul from our heart and our highest version because when we are responding from our heart and actually connecting with our soul to feel what feels the most right in mom any moment, even when something fast or uncomfortable is happening, still remaining in a pace where you can hear your intuition so then you can respond in the highest aligned way. So then you can continue to call in more highest aligned things. And that's what that feeling is, that thing that makes you feel like, oh, you just ruined your day, or oh, I don't even wanna do this anymore. That's because whatever happened made you feel that that intuitive knowing that there was something not so right with that response. So it's not necessarily, and often we'll blame the other person or the thing or the situation like, ah, oh, they ruined my day. Oh, if this didn't happen, things would be so much better. But often it's not necessarily the thing that happens, but the response. So if this crazy thing happens, but you respond, Ooh, hold it, hold the energy for a second, respond intuitively, lovingly if you can, or just neutrally, and then you leave that situation, often you'll feel okay, you'll feel fine, you won't, it won't feel like it ruined your day, you won't feel that heavy, uh, bogged down, drained, dull feeling anymore, because the intuition is helping guide you, and you're, you're able to respond from, um, a more loving place a place that is going to be more resonant to you and what you're actually wanting in life i welcome you to like and subscribe and i hope to see you guys again very soon and sending love to you